What's up, YouTube? This is Eric Kelly, a.k.a. The Tech Gentleman, bringing you guys another video. Today, we're going to be taking a look at five tips and tricks for your Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Before we get going, though, I want to remind you guys to hit me up on Instagram, Twitter, and Google+. I have links in the description below. Also, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And also, if you got any questions, make sure you leave them down in the comment section below. But without further ado, let's talk tech. Five tips and tricks. This video is going to be quick, hopefully. Uh, I'll try to keep it as quick as possible. So first up, probably seen every other tips and trick video. You know, first thing you need to do, you need to go on down to them settings, you go on down to the bottom, go to about phone, you need to hit that software, and then you need to start tapping that build number. Once you tap it so many times, you'll get a little prompt for your pen. Put your pen in. Then when you come back, your phone will look like this. Let's pull up one more. Now you have developer options. So from here, we're going to go down. We're going to look at those animation options. All right, as you can see, I've got all my cut in half already. That's what you want to do. That's how you get your Note 9 boogieing, maximum boogieing speed. And now you got nothing holding you back. You got the animations out the way. You can move around how you want. Next thing you want to do, I'm going to have a link down in the description below. You want to go download an app called Good Luck. Make sure it's 2018. Good Luck is going to give you a bevy of different options for your phone to customize it how you like. Samsung already gives you some. So uh, Good Luck is definitely what you want to install. Like I said, even down here, you've got edge lighting already. They're calling this edge lighting plus. And as you can see, it's going to give you a ridiculous number of new options down here. So if you go to effects, Normally you get a couple, but now you get all of these. You get change your transparency, your width, and your patterns. You can you just got a lot more patterns down here that you can apply. Pretty cool. Like I said, the same goes for you know you can actually change how edge detection is set up. And I got to install that, but you literally get to change you know the panels and how far in the edge detection goes. Just customize it to where it fits your hands perfectly. You're not getting false touches. Uh, you got multi-star where you can actually get some more powerful multi-window options. If you want to be able to use both sides of your screen at the same time, you see a little guy up there, they're both active. Uh, this is the option right there. You also got uh, the option for ghost mode. And basically what ghost mode does is it allows you to change the transparency. So if you got a little app in a pop-up window, um, you can actually change it to where instead of having to minimize it all the time, you can just make it to where it gets transparent. And you have that option there. I mean, this good lock, I'm gonna make a whole video on this. That's tip number two. Download good lock, start playing around with it, and you'll quickly start making your phone look like nobody else's phone. Um, the third thing you wanna do on your Note 9, you wanna go ahead and get your notifications and on your lock screen, right? So you're gonna go to settings, you're gonna go to lock screen, and you're gonna go to notifications. So if you haven't noticed, I'm gonna turn mine off and then turn it back on. So if you haven't noticed, mine looks different down here. Instead of having the big notifications coming across the middle, um, I've got mine where they just show up as little icons down here. That way you get maximum screen real estate for your wallpaper, whatever you got set. Uh, so for me, uh, I like to have notifications set as icons only. All right, that's the third thing I'm gonna do. Clean up your phone, give it a nice clean look. Uh, get rid of those big, you know, because if you don't have icons on, you're going to get the full banners for every notification. It's going to eventually fill up icons only. You just get the little icon there and you'll eventually get like a little oval right underneath your clock showing you all the icons for uh, the things you have notifications for. And if you want to check them, then you can just double tap them and it'll open up the little card. But uh, that's going to be the third tip. The fourth is going to be under sounds and vibration. So if you tap sound and vibration, Samsung gives you a lot of sound options, but the sound quality and effects is where you're really going to get the most mileage. So if you have some wired headphones, this will look a little bit different. You'll actually get to use the UHQ upscaler, use it, it makes things sound good. Also Dolby, Dolby Atmos. It has a couple of different modes. I leave it in auto, uh, and that way it'll try to figure out what you're doing if you're watching video or listening to music or taking a call or you know listening to voices. It'll change Dolby Atmos, but make sure that is on always there's no need to even cut that off um, but also down here you get the adapt sound and 
So I'm gonna pull out my Note 8 here. And as you can see, this is something that I use all the time, but it just, it makes a huge difference whenever you are uh, looking at, I'm not looking at, whenever you're listening to audio, um, I actually have profiles set up for pretty much everything that I plug in. All right, so I got all my different headphones down there. It'll actually do a hearing test and that way it'll strengthen areas where your your headphones might be weak, like if they're you know low on bass or low on highs, it'll try to compensate for that. Just give you a better listening experience. Yeah, so sound is important to me. So I wanna take the, you know, it takes probably like 15 seconds, right? Get in a quiet place, plug in your headphones, Bluetooth or wired, and just go through the sound test and just get better sound out of whatever you're listening through. You know, I, I think it's worth it for me. Um, so the last thing, tip number five, is gonna be kind of dealing with just how you use your phone and navigate through it. So if we go home, you'll notice I have no apps on my home screen. I don't even have any in the tray down here. I, I don't need them. The reason why I don't need them is because if we go to the side here, I've got all my apps here in the little apps edge. I know it seems gimmicky. Some people feel like, you know, why do I need to use that? Uh, for me, it's just about having access to everything at all times. So I never have to hit the home button just so I can go back and bounce another app. Wherever I'm at, I can just pull this out. And now I got my folders here. I got a couple of, uh, you know, a couple of uh, little paired apps that I can just tap, you know, and it'll open up those apps and split screen for me. I don't have to go through the issue of pressing and holding and selecting apps and all that stuff. And also, if you're in the middle of an app, maybe you're watching a video or something like that, somebody sends you a text message, you can actually press and hold and you can drop it here in a little pop-up window. And if you're gonna have a little conversation with them, you can talk with, talk to them, drop it down, and then whenever they message you, you get a little one right there, a little icon. You can put that uh, pretty much wherever you want. Then when you wanna hop back into it, hit them up, go back, and you're not actually switching between whole apps. Um, I, I just like this idea right here, and I use it for a couple other things. You know, clipboard, device maintenance. Make sure you use this. This is like tip 5.5. Use device maintenance. It's gonna do things for you that you might not think to do. You won't take the time to do to keep your device running uh, running smoothly. Um, but yeah, that's, those are my five tips and tricks for the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Um, tip number one, make sure you go to developer options, cut those animation related options in half, speed up your device, makes it snappier. Tip number two, download the Good Lock app. It's gonna be in the description below. Uh, tip number three is go ahead and get your notification and your lock screen together. Have your notifications show up in little icons instead of taking up the full screen. Uh, tip number four is gonna be get your sound right. So go into the sound settings, go to advanced, adapt sound, go ahead and go through that sound test for whatever pair of earphones you're listening to, get the best sound quality out. And finally, tip number five, take advantage of the little apps edge option right here. Like I said, for me, it just makes me more efficient. I got all my apps ready to go, ready to access whenever I'm ready. Uh, but that's gonna be it, guys. If you got any questions about the Note 9, suggestions for any other tips, make sure you leave them down in the comment section below. But until next time, guys, I'll see you. Peace.